great many people see you as heroes. There are some who would prefer the word vigilantes. So much of the Civil War story is told from Captain America's point of view. We've brought in Tony Stark to showcase that other side of that argument, and it's really the two of them and the people that team up with them. But at the same time, we thought it would be fun to introduce a third side, to introduce a character that audiences have wanted us to introduce for many, many years, who comes in and is really not agreeing with either side in particular and can represent sort of fresh eyes to see Tony's side of the argument, to see Cap's side of the argument, and frankly, to not necessarily care about either side of those arguments because he has his own agenda, and that's T'Challa the Black Panther. Kevin was like, hey, we're calling you <laughs> about this character that I think you're interested in. I think you know who I'm talking about. And I said, yeah, I think so. Like, are you interested in playing him? Yes. <laughs> It was really that simple. Chadwick is a really smart, interesting, dynamic guy. I think Marvel is so consistent at bringing on such fine actors, it really feels like he's added to this group. Right, yeah, that was good. And his presence on set, I think, raises the stakes a little bit for everybody. Growing up, I was a Black Panther fan. To see Black Panther come to life is really kind of like a dream come true. Chad gives him a great energy. He gives him a great confidence, a stoicness that I feel that character needs. Were you allowed to keep something from set? Now you know, good and well, that Marvel is so secretive, <laughs> there's no way I could keep anything from the set. Uh, and if I did keep from something from the set, I wouldn't tell you. What was your reaction when they told you that Black Panther's role was yours. About a minute long celebration, yelling, praising God, um, just screaming like I was at, watched a, a buzzer beater <laughs> at a basketball, uh, at a basketball game. What kind of music would you recommend to child to listen to? Definitely Kendrick Lamar, um, King Kunta, some Fela. Definitely some James Brown. Some classical music, some Adele, or some Isaac Hayes, jazz, some Miles Davis. Shout out Don Cheetah. And that's it. <laughs> what do Chadwick and T'Challa have in common? I, I am a keeper of secrets, um, and I think uh, T'Challa is definitely a keeper of secrets. That's, that would be the one thing I'm gonna say, because everything else, um, you don't need to know that. How are you able to see through the mask? Obviously, peripheral vision is, is obstructed, um, and so you have to—you always have to turn, or you, you you know pretty much know what's going to be over there. So then, in a sense, you play that as if you sense what's over there. Who is the best dancer in the Team Iron Man? In, just Team Iron Man? Are we limited to Team Iron Man right now? I mean. Did anybody else on Team Iron Man or Cap play James Brown? I know Chris is a good dancer, I have to give him credit, but um, he ain't no James Brown. The revolution will be live. It's Gigi Hadid. For more videos like this, click here. Hi, I'm Cara Delevingne. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Boop. Thanks for watching.